It's uh, Tuesday now. Hope you're enjoying the snow as winter has made a, a violent comeback for us, at least for a couple of days. Um, I want to share with you just some continuing thoughts on prayer. You know, in the midst of all that we're going through, a few weeks of social distancing can seem like an eternity, especially when we have to sit and wait. Um, we're always so busy and active and, and we're always producing and accomplishing things that it can feel like wasted time when we're just sitting and we're just waiting. It might even feel like you're sitting still right now, but you're not. Uh, you're on a planet that is rotating on its axis a thousand miles per hour, like clockwork. It just keeps happening. It makes one full revolution every 24 hours. And if that isn't amazing enough, the planet Earth is moving around the sun at speeds approaching 67,000 miles per hour. So the next time you feel like you've had an unproductive day, you feel like you're just kind of wasting time and you're not going anywhere, remind yourself that today you will travel more than 1.5 million miles through space. Now let me ask you a question. When was the last time that you lost sleep because you were concerned about the, the Creator keeping the planets in orbit? When was the last time you got down on your knees at night and prayed, Lord, thank you. Thank you for keeping the planets rotating. Today, I was, today was the day I thought it might stop. Um, I wasn't sure if we'd make that full rotation today, but you did it again, so thank you, God. I mean, I'm guessing the answer to that question is never. We, we don't doubt God's ability to keep the planets in orbit, but we have a difficult time continuing to believe that God can keep our lives moving forward even though we may be sidelined, forced to sit and wait by circumstances outside of our control. And that could be what's going on now across the planet or uh, some other specific instance in your life. So what is it you think is more difficult for God to control? The planets, the stars, the galaxies, the universe, or your personal individual story? The truth is we inherently trust God for the big things and probably rarely pray about them. Now we need to trust him for the things that seem small in comparison but are mountains to us. Things like income and housing and bills that need paid or healing from sickness or relationships in your life. None of these are, are small items. But they're, they're, they're giant mountains to us, but compared to the universe, they seem pretty minute. Learning to pray continually, as Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 5.17, pray without ceasing. That lifestyle of prayer is what turns the mountains in our lives that seem impossible into molehills that are nothing in comparison to what God can do. You know, we believe that our Heavenly Father is great not only because nothing is too big for Him, but our Dad is also great because nothing is too small. The sovereign ruler of the universe cares about every minute detail of your life and my life. So even if you don't leave your home today, know that you've still moved a massive 1.5 million miles through space and wrestle that unbelief to the ground that God doesn't see you, that he doesn't care, because he most certainly does. You're his daughter, you're his son, he's, he's crazy about you. I mean, a smile comes across his face whenever he thinks of you, you're his pride and joy. He's chosen you. He chose to adopt you. He, cho he chooses to love you. Even today, he keeps pursuing you. And he's with you right now. So, so talk to him. Communicate with him. Pray. Not in a formulaic or traditional way. You don't have to do anything to, to make yourself feel grander or try to get God's attention. Just pray in a consistent, authentic way. Pray throughout the day. In every beautiful moment, pray. And in every difficult one, pray. He's big enough. His heart is open enough for it all. He wants to be a part of it all. And just like Paul says, as you pray, don't stop praying. One of the other beautiful benefits of praying without ceasing is praying together. And so I want to encourage you, don't be isolated during this time. You know, if you're looking for ways that, that you can, you need to connect with other people, technology gives us incredible tools at our disposal now to be able to connect face to face. Uh, and there's a bunch of different platforms for that. And, and at the church at Fusion, please reach out, email us, office at fusioncommunitychurch.org, or you can email, that'll go to the office, or you can email, pa email Pastor Corey directly. He knows more about technology and goofy stuff than any of us could ever forget, um, or any of us could ever know he's forgotten more. And his email is corey.seals at fusioncommunitychurch.org. All that contact information is available on our website. Have a great rest of the Tuesday. Look forward to sharing with you some more tomorrow.